Hi kids. So this video is for class 9 student. We'll continue with theorems on area from ML Agarwal. We have done till sum number 14. You can click on the i button or you can see the description box for the link. Now let us see number 15. 15a. In the figure, the perimeter of this parallelogram is 42 cm, which means A, B, C, D is the parallelogram. Perimeter is 42 cm. Calculate the length of the side of the parallelogram. Look carefully. Suppose I take AB as X unit and BC as Y. So this will be Y, AD and DC will be X. So perimeter will be twice X plus Y, X plus X, 2X, Y plus Y, 2Y. So twice X plus Y. Now look over here. Perimeter is given to us. What? 42. So 42 equals to twice x plus y which means 42 by 2 is equal to x plus y so 21 equals to x plus y so we can say y equals to 21 minus x so y equals to 21 minus x we got a relation now what is given to us uh, the height if you see the diagram if ab is your base then the length of altitude is 6 cm they have given. Suppose this is dm and this is dn. And if bc is your base, then the height is 8 cm. Yes or no? Now, area. Area. If suppose ab is your base, base into height. Done. Now, again area. If suppose bc is your base, then BC, BC is 21 minus X multiplied by height, altitude, this is 8, the same figure, so area will be same only. So 6X will be equal to 8 times 21 minus X. We need to simplify this. So that's 6X equals to 8, 1 times 8 into the 16 minus 8X. That is 6 and plus 8, that's 14x equals to 168, which means x equals to 168 by 14. 14 10 times 140 plus 28, which means 12 times. So we got x as 12, which means AB will be 12 centimeter and BC will be 21 minus 12. 21 minus 12. That's 9 centimeter. So the length of the parallelogram is 12 cm and 9 cm. Done. We equated the area. We, using AB, we got the area. AB into 6. Using BC, I got the area. BC into 8. Equate them, you'll get the answer. Now look at 15 part B. Now look at 15 part B. In the figure given, the perimeter of the triangle ABC is 37. If the length of Altitude AM, AM, BN and CL is 5x, 6x and 4x respectively. Calculate the length of the sides of triangle ABC. Look carefully. <laughs> Suppose I take this BC as A unit and AC as B unit. A, B. Now look carefully. AB plus BC plus AC is given as 37. Which means AB plus BC is how much? Small a. AC is how much? Small b. That's 37. So AB will be 37 minus A minus B. Yes or no? So this is 37 minus A minus B. Now look carefully. If I take BC as the base, then area is what? Half multiplied by base multiplied by altitude or height. Yes or no? Look at the diagram properly. So half base is A and altitude is AM. That's 5X. Again, if I take AC as the base, so half into AC into altitude which is BN 
substitute the value half multiplied by ac ac is b and bn bn is 6x again look carefully if i take ab as the base area will be half into ab into cl half into base into height yes or no that's half multiplied by base is 37 minus a minus b and the height is 4x yes or no now we can equate these three because they are area of the same triangle so can i write half multiplied by a multiplied by 5x equals to half multiplied by b multiplied by 6x equals to half multiplied by 37 minus a minus b into 4x now this half 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 this cancels out and this x also yes or no so what remains 5 times a is equal to 6 times b is equal to 4 times 37 minus a minus b yes or no yeah till now you've done it correct mm. now look over here 5a equals to 6b we can say definitely we can say so 5a equals to 6b this is your first relation now again we can equate these two also you can equate the first and the third also i am equating the second and the third so 6b is equal to 4 times 37 minus a minus b can i write yes or no these two are equal and these two are equal these two are also equal now because i have two unknowns i'll take two equations so 6b for 7 times 28 for 3 to 12 13 14 so 148 minus 4a or do one thing wait what we'll do you can take cancel 2 so 2 3 times 2 2 times so that's 3b is equal to 2 7 is a 14 2 3 is a 6 74 minus 2a minus 2b yes or no now look carefully bring it on this side so 5b plus 2a is equal to 74 so these two are my equations now I need to solve it using any method cross multiplication you have elimination substitution what I'll do I'll do by elimination the CD 5a minus 6b equals to 0 first equation this one what I'll do this is if I multiply by 6 what does it become 6 2 is a 12a plus 6 5 is a 30b is equal to 6 4 is a 24 6 7 is a 42 43 44 4 4 4 and this one if I multiply by 5 becomes 25a minus 30b equals to 0 equation 1 this is equation 2 12a plus 30b equals to 444 yes or no simply add it this is cancels out this is 37a equals to 444 yes or no so a will be 444 by 37 37 ones are 37 yes or no so how much is left this is 37 7 2 times 74 which means we got a as 12 once you get a as 12 put the value over here in this original equation 5a equals to 6b so 5 into 12 equals to 6b 6 1 times 6 2 times so b equals to 10 so we got a as 12 which means bc will be 12 B is 10, which means AC will be 10 and AB will be 37 minus 12 minus 10. That is 37 minus 22. Yes or no? That's how much? That's 50. 37 is a perimeter C if you add it. Yes or no? Step by step. Find the area. You know, taking each side as base once, equate them. You will get a relation 
From there, we'll get two equation. Solve it simultaneously. Now let us look at the next sum. Now look at 15C. In the figure given, A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. P is a point on D, C. Such that area of triangle D, A, P, D, A, P, this triangle, you know, area is 25 centimeter square. Okay. And area of B, C, P, B, C, P, this triangle we will talk about, that's 15 centimeter square. Find number one. Area of parallelogram A, B, C, D and number 2 D, P is to P, C. Now look carefully. We we'll use the theorem over here. Area of A, B, P. Can I write? Area of triangle A, B, P is half area of parallelogram A, B, C, D. Yes or no? Why? Because they have the same base. Look carefully. For the triangle as well as the parallelogram, A, B is the base and between the same parallel lines and between the same parallel lines. Yes or no? Now look carefully. Just try to understand this. If area of this region is half the area of the parallelogram, then these two regions added will give you area of half the parallelogram. Yes or no? Look carefully. Area of parallelogram will be equal to, in this case, 25 plus 15 plus area of triangle A, P, B. Yes or no? Now, area of parallelogram, suppose I take as X. Suppose, 25 plus 15 plus. Now, area of triangle A, P, B is half the area of triangle A, B, C, D. Which means this will be X by 2. If this is x then area of triangle APB will be x by 2 half of x now solve it so x minus x by 2 is 40 which means twice x minus x equals 40 which means x equals to 80 which means area of the parallelogram will be 80 centimeter square done or not this is 80 centimeter square now they've asked dp is to pc dp is to pc now look over here what we'll do from b i'll draw a perpendicular like this on dc so that becomes the altitude if dc is the base yes or no now look carefully for triangle bcp b p c Area is half into base, which is PC, into height, which is suppose BN. BN. And there's another triangle ADP. Triangle ADP. Again, same. Area will be half into base, which is DP, into height. Now, height. If I take this as the height, suppose AM, then AM and BN are same parallelogram. So the height will be same only. So what I can write, instead of AM, I can write BN. Yes or no? I find the ratio of these two triangles area. So I can write half into base into height. I'll divide half into base PC into BN. What I've done? Area of ADP by area of ADP by area of BPC I've written. Area of ADP is half into base into height, half into DP into BN and this is half into PC into BN. 
this half and half cancels out, Bn, Bn cancels out. So dp by pc is equal to area of adp, adp 25, area of bpc, bpc 15. So 5, 5 times, 5, 3 times, so the ratio will be 5 is to 3 and that's my answer. Very easy. Step by step, okay, find the area, the height will be same. Okay, and then find the ratio, you will get the answer. Chalo, we will do the next one now. So look at 16. In the adjoining figure, E is the midpoint of the side AB, which means AE and BE is same. Of the triangle ABC and EBCF is a parallelogram that is given to us. If the area of triangle ABC, the bigger triangle, area of triangle ABC is 25 square unit, find the area of the parallelogram EBCF. Look over here. Very easy. First of all, you are seeing this triangle and this triangle. If you can prove that these two are congruent, our work is done. Now, midpoint theorem. Look carefully. E is the midpoint of AB. E is the midpoint of AB. And EG is parallel to BC. EG is parallel to BC. Yes or no? So by converse midpoint theorem, we can see that G is also the midpoint of AC. Which implies G is the midpoint of AC. Remember the converse of midpoint theorem? Now, if these two are parallel and if this is the midpoint, then this will also be the midpoint. Now look carefully. So AG is equal to GC. Now look at these two triangles. Triangle AEG, AEG and triangle C, F, G. A, G is equal to C, G. Just now we proved. This angle is equal to this angle. Vertically opposite angle. A, G, E. A, G, E. Is equal to C, G, F. Yes or no? And if you look. This angle and this angle. Are also equal. Why? They are alternate. Because this and this are parallel. A, B and C, F. Are parallel. Z. So I can say angle EAG is equal to GCF, GCF, which means simply triangle AEG is congruent to triangle CFG by angle side angle. Yeah, angle side angle by angle side angle. Yes or no? Now if these two are congruent, the areas will be same. We know congruent figures have same area. So, area of triangle AEG is equal to area of triangle CFG. Now, what they have told us to find? They told us to find area of parallelogram EBCF. Now, EBCF, can I write area of EBCG? E, B, C, G plus C, F, G area of triangle C, F, G. Yes or no? Now, this as it is, area of E, B, C, G plus instead of area of triangle C, F, G, can I write this? Area of triangle A, E, G. Now look, this region and A, E, G add to give area of triangle ABC yes or no and we know the area of triangle ABC that's 25 square unit which means area of parallelogram EBCF will be 25 square unit done pretty simple just prove that these two triangles are congruent and your work is done now let us look at number 17 now look at 17A in the figure given BC is parallel to AE and CD is parallel to BE. Prove that area of triangle ABC is equal to area of triangle EBD. First of all, ABC is this. Okay. 
एरिया ऑफ ए बी सी इज इक्वल टू एरिया ऑफ ई बी डी लुक केयरफुल वट आई डू आई ज्वाइन सी ई जस्ट ज्वाइन सी ई ऑकेट एवरीथिंग जस्ट लुक एट दिस फिगर आई टू विजुअलाइज दिस बी सी ए दिस इज पैरल Yes or no? Like this. Now, can I write area of triangle ABC is equal to area of triangle BCE? Why? Same base and between same parallel lines. Yes or no? So the areas will be same. Area of this figure. And area of this figure, they will be same between uh, have the same base BC and between the same parallel line BC and AE. Done. Now what I'll do? Just look carefully. I'll draw this portion BCDE. Look carefully. Yeah, this is something like this. Okay, BCDE. Now look carefully. This okay. This and E B D and we have joined E C. Now look carefully. Can I write area of E B D? E B D area. This is parallel to this area of. E B D will be equal to area of E B C or B C E area of B C. Look carefully; they have the same base B E, and they are between the same parallel lines. Yes or no? Now look carefully. This was your equation one, and this is your relation two. Now area of A B C. Is equal to B C E, and area of E B D is equal to area of B C E, which means by one and two, by one and two, we can say that this and this will have same area, which means area of triangle A B C will be equal to area of triangle E B D. Yes or no? That is what you were supposed to prove. You need to visualize the sum properly. Practice and practice. Practice makes the man perfect. You know. Now let us do seventeen part B. Now look at seventeen B. In the figure A B C A B C is a right angle triangle at A, which means this is ninety degree. Okay. A G F B A G F B is a square. On the side AB of and and BCDE BCDE is a square again on the hypotenuse BC of this triangle. Okay, if AN AN is perpendicular to ED, prove that prove that BCF BCF is congruent to ABE ABE. Look at the diagram. And area of the square A B A B F G is equal to area of rectangle B E N M. Now look carefully. First of all, I'll draw the two triangle. This is my this one B C F, and this is my triangle B E. A, A B E, whatever. Now look carefully. B E and B C are same side of the same square. F B and A B is same side of the same square. A B F G. Now look over here. If I take this angle as X, this is ninety, and this is ninety. Yes or no? Because these two are squares, so what will be this angle FBC? 
FBC. 90 plus X. What will be this angle? 90 plus X. Again, ABE. This angle. These two triangles are congruent. Side angle side. Yes or no? Look carefully. FB is equal to AB. Side of the square. Same square. BC is equal to BE. Side of the same square. Angle FBC is equal to angle ABE. That is 90 plus X. Which means triangle BCF is congruent to triangle ABE. ABE by side angle side property. Yes or no? B C F and A B E are congruent. Now, see this is not the actual way to write. Whenever you write, you see that the word pieces should correspond. But the, the better way was writing triangle B C F is congruent to triangle. Now B corresponds to B and C corresponds to E and F corresponds to A. This is the actual way to write. Okay. B, C, F. B, E, A. Yeah. They are congruent. Why? Side angle side. Now the next portion. Area of the square B, F, B, F, G B, F, G, A. Let me see. Area of the square A, B, F, G is equal to area of the rectangle B, E, N, M. Very easy. Look over here. First of all, this G, C is a straight line. Why? Because this is 90 degree, this is 90 degree, so this becomes 180 degree. This means G, A, C, yes or no? Is a straight line. Because GAC angle, this angle is 180 degree. Now look carefully. FB is parallel to GC. Why? Because this is a square. So opposite side will be parallel. Now look. Area of FBC. Area of, I will write BCF. BCF will be half area of square. A, B, F, A, B, F, G. Why? Because of the same base. Look carefully. Same base. And between same parallel lines. Yes or no? F, B and G, C. Between same parallel line. And they are the same base. Now, actually, if these two triangles are congruent, the areas will be equal. Area of triangle B, C, F is equal to area of triangle B, E, A. Because they are congruent. Yes or no? Now, look at this. And this is 90 degree, this is 90 degree. Yes or no? This is 90, this will be 90. So, this becomes a rectangle. Now, area of, look carefully, Area of B E A triangle B E A is equal to half area of rectangle B E N M B E N M. Why? They are the same base and between the same parallel lines. So area of the triangle is half the area of the parallelogram. Rectangle is a parallelogram. Same base and between same parallel lines. Yes or no? Now, from this 1 and this is 2, area of BCF and area of BEA is same, which means this portion and this portion will be same. So, half of area of A B F G is equal to half of area of rectangle B E N M. Half, half cancels out. This is what we were supposed to prove. Area of A B F G is equal to B E N M. 
Tan, this was a very interesting sum. It looks complicated, but when, when you bifurcate it, separate it, it becomes easy. Okay, chalo, in this video, we'll keep it till here. This was the last sum, I think, from the exercise. In the next video, we'll look at some other chapter. If you like the video, do subscribe and share with your friend. Everybody, take care.